just joining us here. It is the 2015 USA Rugby Emirates Airline Club Sevens National Championships. This is the final, the women's final, American Pro Rugby Training Center taking on Seattle Saracens. Saracens on the right-hand side and the ARP on the left-hand side. This is a historic final right now. A new champion will be crowned here. I'm Dallin Stanford and with me is former Australian Sevens International, Mark Stabina. Dallin, what a privilege to be calling this game. The final, the women's final. Two great teams. Can't wait to see the, uh, the outcome of this one. We're going to now go downstairs for the national anthem of America. Wow, the atmosphere here is electric. The Women's Cup final referee Lee Bryant will be in charge of this one. Predictions here, Mark. Put me on the spot, Dallin. Thanks for that. Seattle's coming in very strong, that's for sure. It's ARP's first appearance at this national stage. You know, I think the way these two teams are playing, Seattle Saracens might have the edge. Definitely uh, coached by two great coaching staffs. Julie McCoy, Emily Bidewell, the veteran versus the young filly up and coming. All I know, Dallin, is it is going to be a cracker. It certainly will indeed. Left of your screen, we have Seattle Saracens and on the right, the American Pro tra uh, Training Center. We're going to just call them ARP for now. Pulse setting game coming up, 10 minute finals in the half so it's 20 minutes in total and this is the sixth game for these teams we're about to begin what will be an absolute rip snorter and we're underway here ball comes down to ARP's Ashley Perry moving along to Hunter Grenling Grenling spots a gap straight away the captain of the team he's got a lot of tries on day one and the first penalty Goes the way of ARP. He'll just tap and go here. Jess Wooden on the outside. Jessica Liu looking for that switch and does find it. Busting through. Bohan, Brianna Bohan. Unbelievable stuff. Just cutting them to shreds in the opening start here. ARP 5 0. Wow, what a start. ARP, that's exactly the start they wanted, Dallin. It all came from a penalty there. I think Saracen's just. A little too eager, a little too eager at the breakdown there. Offside, caught offside, but that allowed a little break down the side, down the right-hand side. Perfectly executed switch. And that woman, Bohannon, pace to burn. She burnt it. 7-0, Julie McCoy's charges lead this clash. Seattle Saracen still to touch the ball. They have their men's team in the final as well, and what a brilliant program. They have delivered. But meanwhile, it's a long half still to go. Eight minutes 30 left on the clock. Jess Wooden started all three games for the Eagle this summer. Kicks it downfield. And now a chance to move it away for Seattle with a couple of fans coming in. They're under a lot of pressure inside their 22. Looking for Peterson to calm things down and she Knocks it on, in fact, and so it's going to be ARP who keep the pressure here right inside the 22. 
Not what the Saracens needed, not what they wanted. Just needed to calm things down, get out of their territory. Build the phases, as you said, Dallin. Plenty of time left. No need to panic. Still eight minutes left in this first half. But it was the pressure from ARP just kept forcing the Saracens back. And now they've come up with the ball in a very, very positive attacking position. Hunter Grayling at Waring 5, played for the Atlanta Harlequins in 15s. She's one of the danger runners. She has possession now. Looks across to Wooden, the Eagle. Stepping in and out. Defense is pretty solid. Bohannon comes in as well. Grenling on the outside. Grenling. Oh, look at her move. Wonderful stuff. What a stride she's got. Grenling goes all the way. And what a captain's try that is. Excellent stuff. Well, that was just pure experience from Grenling. The mature head to come in and scan. It's very important when you come into the ruck. It can be very easy just to be robotic and automatic wanting to win ball get it out of there throw it out wide she was smart enough to come in and see how the defense stacked up at the ruck saw an opportunity and she backed her pace and she has pace as well that's mature play there and uh, ARP two tries in a row taking a good stranglehold on this match early Dallin conversion is good as well Jess Wooden puts it over she also plays for the Atlanta Harlequins so teaming up with Grenling there and all of a sudden, it's 14-0. Seattle Saracens, they haven't been trailing often in a seven-a-side game of late. And right now, ARP and Julie McCoy's charges are looking pretty solid. Jess Wooden will now kick to the far side. And the pressure comes on Saracens right away in a flat line. They look to move it through their hands. Alonso is in there as well now to the outside difficult pass to cake and huge tackle coming from Daly shiver me timbers still maintain possession though Seattle Saracens and now they bring it through Megan Sanders Sanders strong ball carry by her Peterson on the outside looking for a bit of space and room to move Fending, trying to throw it back in field. The defense is equal to the task. Seattle Saracens, a bit better from them. Putting ball out in front. Now they move it on the outside. And this is Kelsey Stockard. She gets tackled, tries to throw it in field. Ball just finds a touch there. And they're going to get a penalty. Seattle Saracens, hard working by them. Christine Summer was in there as well. They've tapped and gone. Turning their backs as ARC. And you can't do that in rugby. And taken up by Sanders. Alonso in there also. Trying to look for Stockard here. Stockard is the flyer. A little bit tired right now. And she runs into a brick wall. But lays it free for Sanders to come in. Now they need to move it wide. And they're getting some width on that. Much better play, ranging on the outside. Excellent switch, but a huge tackle coming in on Peterson. She gets the offload. Saracen's on the outside, looking for a scars a day. And crossing there, and heartbreak oh. for Seattle oh. Saracens. Wow, and they did so well as well to move the ball out of there. Probably used up a, a little bit too much energy, just taking the ball in around the ruck a couple of times. They've taken a lot of contact early on in this game finally realized hey we need to get it out wide they did that what about the defense from ARP that crunching tackle from the uh, fullback position the sweeping position textbook stuff that passage of play had everything Dallin what a great final and so bombing it downfield ARP relieved the pressure they're soaking it up here they're a team that has a lot of youngsters as well Julie McCoy was very excited to see how they would go on against some experienced veterans. And Ryan Carlisle's in there as well for the Seattle Saracens. The Eagle Sevens slippery sensation. Taken at the top. Thrown down by Lou. And Daly struggled with that one. Seattle Saracens pouncing on this ball. They know they need to get onto it pretty quickly. Three minutes left in this first half. And they're down 14-0. They are indeed. 
And now you'd say this is possibly Saracen's best attacking opportunity of the game. They've got a scrum just outside the AIP 22. Although there's a player down at the moment. Hopefully she's okay. You don't want to lose a player, one of your starting players so early in the match, but that's why the Saracens have a, a great bench. You can cover all bases. She's okay. And now Saracens with the ball. Plenty of space. ARP need to be really on guard here. Look for Kelsey Stockard on the outside. She's got a lot of tries so far. She's wearing number 11 here for the Saracens on the bottom left of your screen. Playmaker up front. Ball comes out. Now they go to the short side. Sanders. Great strength from her, but might have been knocked on. Ruffy says play on. No, Carlisle. Just happened before she got possession there, and so ARP come away with it. Clock ticks away here. Yeah, you have to say, wrong decision there. I mean, there's nothing wrong with backing your pace. She saw an opportunity, but the defense matched her, so that's when you just got to switch into ball conservation and retention mode. Don't panic, just win it back. See what we can do from there. ARP feeds it through Ali Day. And now they look to have a little bit of a run through Grenling. Throws the pass to Bohandon on the outside. Still alive for Grenling. Big tackles coming in though. Stockard wants possession. She wants ball and she grabs it. Lays it back nicely. Saracens probing here. We've got space to the left if they move it now. Alonso throws the cutout pass. Nice and wide. Escarza Day. And on the outside is the electric eel herself, Ryan Carlisle. Carlisle beats three players and scores in the corner. Absolute brilliance from Ryan Carlisle. And the Seattle Saracens are on their feet. Yeah, that was better play from the Saracens. I mean, they took some contact again, but they retained the ball nicely. In fact, you can see how well drilled they are with these rucks. Emily Bidewell's done a great job. Three girls going in and over committing, and one, and one of them had the presence of mind to realize, hey, there's too many of us in here. I'm going to pull out, get the ball wide where the space is. You can see the replay here. They use that space. Carlisle nearly coughed it up there with her experience and skill. Managed to bring it back into a chest and then just put on the afterburners. Put the, put the pedal to the metal. Great try for Saracens. Just what they needed, Dallin. It is 14 to 5. ARP leading Seattle Saracens. We have 30 seconds left. In this first half, if you just join us, it's the 2015 USA Rugby Emirates Airline Club 7's National Championships. And this is the women's final. So we've all been waiting for two champions going to be crowned back-to-back. Ten-minute -back, halves. The kick doesn't go ten meters. And that is an unforced error. There's going to be a free kick on the halfway line. And referee Lee Bryant on the spot. Got a backup 10. And Grenling just slowing things down here. She knows this will be the last play of the half. If they can just keep possession, maintain some phases, they could add another try to the scoreboard. Grenling switches with Wooden. Comes down to the outside here to Perry. Oh, players flying in from all over the place. In from the side. And so Ali Day get a chance to get things going nice looking bun she's got set up there some of the Santa Monica rugby players too had a few few buns as well it's pretty hot out here in Des Moines and now they go quick again looking for a little switch Grenling drifts across field throws the ball to Lou puts it down onto the deck going backwards though not much we can do with that one but they're ranging up here, and they use Ashley Perry. Played her rugby at the Twin City Amazons. Now Grenling, Day comes in for a great line. Tight call there for a forward pass, I think. Yes, it was. Sarazen's lucky there. The thing is, we see it a lot in this tournament, Dallin. That restart's so important. And with three seconds left on the clock, Sarazen's kicked off. And you want to at least give your own team chance to get the ball back possibly even score but just take out the half no harm done but the 
The ball didn't go 10 yards, and that is such a crucial error in the game of sevens, particularly at a time like that, just handing the ball to the opposition, saying, basically, here, have a crack, and we'll try and stop you. Can't afford to do that. But, luckily, ARP tried, tried as they may, just faltered in the end, and uh, Saracen's probably pretty lucky there, and still very much in touch with this game. Yeah, two tries to one. Two tries coming from Bohannon and Grendling for ARP and Carlisle for the Saracens. It's 14 against 5. We've got to give a quick thank you to a couple of our supporters here at USA Rugby, BLK, Smith and Forge Hard Cider, World Rugby Shop, and Fly Emirates for all the support they're providing USA Rugby. And of course, later this year, you've got to check out the USA vs. Harlequins clash. Go to usarugby.org to get your tickets for that match on August 30th at PPL Park. I'll be announcing that with my fellow rugby commentator, Dan Power, also Australian, sounding like Mark Stabina here. And then the following week, USA against Australia. The Wallabies will take on the USA Eagles at Soldier Field in Chicago. And that is September 5th. A couple of doozies coming up. Very exciting rugby calendar coming up. Make sure you, uh, you tune in, folks. Don't want to miss it. Dallin, if we just talk quickly about the... You know, the psychological edge. We've been talking about it. ARP looking very strong and dominant, I have to say, over Saracen. Saracen's looking a little shell-shocked. Now, got to ask yourself, ARP had a tough fought victory, 12-7, just the test they needed going into the final, where the Saracens easily beat Berkeley 19-0. That could have something to do with the fact that Saracens have taken a little time to wake up, maybe a bit of complacency, who knows. Ten minutes left in this exciting final. It's the 2015 USA Rugby Emirates Airline Club National Sevens. The kick doesn't go 10. And so the Seattle Saracens will be on the right of your screen. They will take the tap penalty here. They're down 14-5. But plenty of time to play. Megan Sanders plays it away to Peterson. And now they look for Serevi, who's come onto the field. Trying to spark some magic. Well picked up there on the outside by Carlisle. Trying to keep it in play. And just get bundled into touch there. And the power of Serevi combined with the skill of Serevi. Lovely flick pass out the back, but Carlisle around the bootlaces again. I tell you, the skill of these ladies is quite impressive. Line out time here for ARP. Get a chance to see them with ball in hand again. Julie McCoy set up in Little Rock. Wonderful program that she's established in 2015. And assisting her there is Lauren Cabrera, Eli Kowalski, and Donna Thomas, a host of former Eagle legends combining there. And now Sanders trying to fend her way through. On the outside, we've got Stockhart. Stockhart, two on one here. She's got two people to beat. Lays it back. And coming in here, and a great steal from ARP. Lou comes away with it. Grenling goes for the short side. Perry. Gets it off the bootstraps, and there's a Saracens player down. And so it's seven against six right now. Alonso is hurt in the back play. And Perry just manhandles and throws Sanders to the deck. Keep the chain, she says. I just talked about the skill of these ladies. What about the aggression of these ladies? I mean, they are not shy at all. You go into these tackles and these rucks with no fear whatsoever. Just what you'd expect to see in the final, the national championships here. Play's about to resume. Line out time for ARP. They look for the front. Lou goes up. Uncontested, but wasn't straight. Oh, vital set-piece error there. And now scrum time for Seattle Saracens. Yes, Dallin. ARP, I'd have to say. I mean, that's three errors in a row, starting with the kickoff not going 10. They've chosen the line out. Very interesting choice. I'd prefer, I'd normally do the scrum. It's a bit easier to get ball back. But they have worked the set piece move here. And tap pick down, picked up by Sanders. Comes away nicely. Peterson on the wraparound. Jablonski throws it on the outside to Stockhart. Stockhart met with a big solid tackle on her. Get back 10. And Jansky Bingul. Was there on the outside. Carlisle didn't throw the best of passes to Alonso. She tried to hack it through. And they come back for no advantage. Still 10 meters. They're off sides. So Saracens.
try to look to add their second try in this game. Yes, they need to be patient here, Dallin. They've been handed opportunity after opportunity. So they just need to go through the phases here. They move it now to Sanders. Looking for the switch with Sarevi. She picks it up and gets smashed to the deck as well. So Sally won't be happy about that. Space to move. There it is. Carlisle, two on one on the outside with Alonso. She spots the gap herself. Ryan Carlisle played at the Sevens World Cup in Russia in 2013. Thrown inside to Peterson. Shimmies with a step. Ball comes loose and dived on by ARP. But the knock on has come through. And so Seattle Saracens. ARP holding on. Saracens with all the possession, just throwing everything at ARP. That defense just holding strong. Some great tackling. Good tracking from the inside. Carla with a burst of pace. Thought she might have slipped through, but fantastic tackle from the inside around the, around the hips. And then, again, Seattle wanting to get some points on the board, starting to panic a little. They're running out of time, and they're pushing the pass, Dallin. Let's see what ARP can come up with here. Look for Hunter Grenling. For ARP. Ball in hand right now. Shifts it away to relieve a little bit of pressure to Wooden. Wooden cuts back. They've got a loop around here from Lou. Lou drifting away from her supporters. And now that's good interplay. And breaking through here. Wonderful stuff from Abby Vestal. Vestal with a step. Unbelievable stuff. Just absolutely left her in her tracks. And she has come through. What a run from her. As lethal as an injection. Well, Seattle, they just needed to stay tight in defense. And they did. They looked to me like they had a good defensive line. What did it for ARP was just the most subtle of switches. A little dummy switch. Didn't give the switch in the end and just kind of was enough to cause confusion in the defensive line and then the breakaway. 60 meters for the try. That's going to hurt Seattle, let me tell you. It's a very subtle switch. <laughs> very subtle switch. You know, it was unannounced. Nobody screamed, nobody yelled. Just, just came slightly in. You know, a subtle switch. Nothing subtle about your switches, though, <laughs> down at Stanford. <laughs> I was only joking because they didn't end up doing a switch. That's how subtle it was. Well, no. It, uh, if you, if <laughs> here we go. Let's have a look at the replay here. Thank you very much. No, I'm just going on what you said. That's yeah, all. There it is. Just the switch on the inside. Yeah. She came on the angle back in. Dummy switch. I said the dummy. She there threw we go. the dummy. The Sabina switching just angle. dumbing me here in the commentary booth as well <laughs> with his words. And, in fact, it is conversion successful. It is 21 to 5 with Vestal's try. Seattle Saracens have a mountain to climb right now at 3 minutes 40 left on the clock. And they will need to score very quickly if they want to get back in this final championship game. They take it forward with one of their super subs. That looks like Avery Kitch. Back inside. Oh, it's been intercepted. Thrown back in field. Wonderful bit of thievery there in the night. The ball's kicked loose. The Revy tries to grab it and does. Pops it back. But they were almost to the races there. It was Joe Crailing thought she was gone. And you'd have to say, if that ball stayed in the hands of ARP with all those numbers out wide, there was only one defender left. It was Sarevi. She had a lot to do. And fortunately, the ball went to ground. It allowed Sarevi to pounce. Three minutes to go. If that was another try to ARP, you'd have to say. That's the championship in their hands. But... Seattle still alive, but without ball, Dallin. And we've got a couple of subs as well. Kat Ramage and Emily McGee come in for ARC. And a great tournament indeed for the players leaving. That's Grenling and Perry. And now they move it out, ARP. See if they can close this out. McGee smashes it up into the contact. Two minutes 30 left on the clock. Give away a penalty, and they've got to go quick and do. Sanders to Sarevi. Have they got... A little something left in the tank. Ryan Carlisle looks for the goose. Tries to get the pass over the top. And just going to suck up time is this scrum. Yeah, exactly what Seattle don't need. They need to just 
get the ball in hand, get down the other end, get into the try zone, get back, get into the try zone again. I mean, there's two minutes left. It's been all ARP at the moment. Seattle Saracens move it away. See if they can create some magic on the outside. Stockard. Very quick. Gets the fan. A huge collision with her. She tries to throw it infield. The touchline wins the race. ARP will be very happy to wait for this line out to set. Yeah, Kelsey Stockard's been fantastic in this tournament. One of the quicker girls out there. Problem with being such a good player and doing so well in the early stages is other teams do their homework and then they start to mark you up heavily. They haven't really given Stockard much of an opportunity. No, they certainly shut her down in this final. The throw is taken by Carlisle. And Sanders moves it away. And now Stockard again. Stockard on the inside. Oh, as we spoke about her, she finally cuts loose. Kelsey Stockard wants to score near the uprights because they need a comeback. And what a try that is. I mean, Dallin, are we speaking loudly? Because I could swear that Kelsey must have heard us. She didn't like... Didn't like what we had to say about the fact that she's not breaking through. She said, okay, I'll have it. Give it to me. I'll do it. 30 seconds left, though. Kelsey. Kelsey, I bet you can't do it again. And let's see what happens. The conversion is good. And all of a sudden, 25 seconds left on the clock. It's 21-12. Seattle Saracens trade trail by the nine points. It's going to be too much, especially when you kick deep to ARP. ARP just bomb it downfield, soak up the clock. Very wise stuff from them. Even if Seattle score converted try right now, it's too little too late, unless there's a bit of injury time. And taken up there by the Saracens. They have possession now. Ball goes to the ground to Carlisle, kicks it through. And I'm not sure if that was warranted with a sweeper back in position, giving away possession. ARP will be happy just to... Smack this downfield. Oh. oh, and there's a big collision there on Sanders. She caught that in the end. And moving it away now. Solid contact coming in. And Seattle Saracen still breaking out. Looking for support. They find Stockard again. Stockard, one-on-one. -on -one. Breaks free. With the opposite number chasing her. What a tackle that is to prevent a certain try. The ball spits loose. They're going to get a penalty. And they'll probably end up scoring here, but they won't be able to score nine points in one foul swoop. Now you can see the bench for ARP just saying, just end the game already. Please. Carlisle looking to goose her way through herself. Ryan Carlisle just diving over, not even making it an easy kick. She knows they can't get nine. Good finish for her personally and her side. A pretty gassed on their feet. You've got to give it to American Rugby Pro Training Center. They really have come out on fire in this final. Yeah, fantastic effort. ARP, congratulations to them. Congratulations to both teams, actually. As we see here, the kick. I'm wondering if, as you said, Dallin, there is injury time. The player's retreating back to the halfway line. But I imagine that the game is over. Yes, yeah, it is. The referee blowing it up. Just great to see Seattle going all the way to the finish. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure calling these two teams in this fantastic game. Oh, thank you, Mark Stabina, joining us there. Former Australian Sevens International Sensation. And congratulations, of course, to ARP for claiming the women's title 21-17 to in a magical weekend of rugby led by head coach Julie McCoy. They are the 2015 USA Rugby Emirates Airline Club 7's national champion, champions in the women's division. And absolute brilliant stuff from them. Joined now by Chris Draper. He's going to have a couple of words before the men's final. And Chris, what a great...